First of all, we're, we're always excited this time of year for um, for the, the start of a, a, a new season. Um, if you're not optimistic now, you never will be. Um, you know, we've had a, a really good spring. We've had a, a great um, off season here with our guys being back for summer school. Um, I think we got a special group of young men. They seem to um, care for one another, like each other. They've worked hard um, in our conditioning um, with our strength staff. So. Um, we're excited, and you know, practice begins on Monday, the 31st, and um, we got a lot of positions that are wide open, uh, and, and we have a lot of newcomers that'll have to fill some type of role for us this season, especially at our wide receiver spot. You know, we lost um, a lot of catches out there, um, and we, we got to find some guys to step up and take their place. So, um, be a lot of evaluating going on early in, in camp. Um, but um, I think defensively, we, we should be um, a much improved defense. I think our front um, is deep. They're very athletic. And whenever you have a good defensive line, you, you always have a chance to have a really good defense. So I'm excited to see what they can do. Um, of course, um, you know, we got the Southern Conference Player of the Year coming back in Devlin Hodges. He makes our offense go. He has some really good weapons that have proven. Um, especially um, KJ McKnight, you know, he'll be a, a guy that we go to a great deal. And the key is for us to find a few more guys that he's comfortable to even the balls out from the right and the left side. And then we got to get a running game going um, and be better in that area. And if we're able to do that, um, hopefully we'll have a chance. And then the kicking game, um, you know, we have Austin Barnard coming back. Hopefully we won't have to use him much in the punting game. Um, and then our kicking spot is wide open right now. And that's probably the biggest area of concern that we have. Um, we'll have about three or four guys that have never kicked for us um, in a game situation battling for that position. So we'll just have to see where that plays out. We, we need to do better in that area. Now, you, you got to take into account we throw a lot of short passes, a lot of screens um, that go down as passing yards that you know we, we treat um, as an extension of our run game. So, um, you know, a lot of times those numbers um, don't re aren't really indicative of, of how well we're able to move the ball. We just choose to, to do it in a different way than a lot of guys. But we do have to improve in that area dramatically. The best offenses I've ever had, we've always had a 1,000-yard rusher. And, um, you know, we, we got some guys coming back that had good springs and, 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 and did a good job. You know, Crondis Larry really came on at the end of last season. And then with the addition of Trayvon Polk, hopefully um, that, that'll, that'll increase dramatically. And I really like the way um, our, our line's performing, especially in the spring. We got some guys that don't have a lot of experience, but um, they, they have a good grasp of the run game. And if we're able to do that, um, it'll really take a lot of pressure off us being having to throw the ball every single play. You know, you're always rebuilding. I mean, you're always each year is is a different brings different challenges, and and no two teams are ever the same. No matter if you have a national champion or you have a team that didn't win a game, the next year's team's totally different. Um, the biggest thing with us is just our culture, and um, and the guys have bought into what what we're trying to accomplish each and every day. Our staff has too, and I think that's been um, the the biggest thing that I'm excited about is our guys understand what we're asking of them. Um, we want to be efficient. We want to be explosive in everything that we do. And um, just everyone being on the same page, I think, was a key to our success last season. Now, we got to do a better job of finishing. Um, you know, we played a lot of close games, so we didn't get the backups in as much as we wanted to early in the year. And I think we got a little tired at the, the latter part of the season. So as coaches, we got to do a better job of training our guys um, so that fatigue doesn't set in in the stretch run. Um, and then other than that, it's, it's a new ball game. I mean, every team we play on the schedule has got a different team, so do we. Um, but we were very close. I mean, you look back at last season, um, you know, we were a, a missed tackle, um, a missed first down, and a missed kick to beating Citadel for the conference championship. And um, so, you know, we are close, and our guys know that. And um, we just, again, we got to find a way to finish those close ball games. And, um, you know, this is a very difficult league. I mean, you know, you, you look at the teams that we beat last season, you know, every one of them came down to the last couple minutes of the ball game. So we got to do a good job of being consistent and finishing off opponents um, when we have a chance to win late in the fourth quarter. But, you know, we are young at a lot of positions. I mean, our offensive line, I think um, they could really be good, but there's not a whole lot of snaps, you know, that those guys have played. Um, our secondary, you know, we have some some really good players back there. Amari Williams is one of the best in the league, but the other guys around him, they haven't played a lot of snaps. So 
Um, it's going to be key that we do a good job during camp and the preseason of, of getting those guys quality reps to see what they can do. Um, and then, you know, we may have to alter the way we call some of our plays to put them in a better position to succeed. But um, for us to make a run, our young players are going to have to step up this season. Well, he's an extremely hard worker. I mean, you don't become the, the Southern Conference Player of the Year on accident. And um, he, he's worked hard. He's got a good work ethic. Um, he does a good job of leading the guys. I mean, you know, this off season, um, I mean, he's really taken the bull by the horns and gotten those guys to go out and throw with him on the weekends and, and, and during the course of the week to try to get the timing down with those guys. And um, so, um, you know, again, our, the way our offense is set up, he's got to have a good year for us to be good, and um, we expect him to play really well. I mean, the, the best teams I've ever had, I mean, are, you, you win with defense, okay? You win championships with defense. I know it's an old adage, but it, it, it's the truth. Um, you know, if you, you look back, um, on the teams that I've coached that have been really good, we've had top five defenses. Um, you know, and, and you know, my thing is, is this, I mean, yeah, if we do go three and out, which we're not trying to, um, I mean, the defense has the same opportunity to go three and out and get off the field. Um, you know, so it, it works both ways. So it's their job to go out there and get a takeaway or, or get themselves off the field quickly if they want to rest. And that's kind of the way I look at it. So, um, you know, and at the end of the day, if you're scoring a whole bunch of points, you put a lot of pressure on the defense, and, and that helps your defense be able to make bigger plays because the other team kind of gets out of rhythm and starts taking chances that they normally wouldn't take, and then that gives you a very opportunistic defense. I mean, right now I'm worried about practicing and getting better at what we do, and that's kind of how we play. I mean, we're going to go out there and do what we do and try to do it really, really well. Um, each week, you know, we kind of have an idea how the game, we think the game's going to play out, and we, we tailor the plan um, to maximize, you know, our, our plays and give our boys the best chance to be successful. But, um, you know, if, if you guys may be looking for Georgia, but, you know, the biggest game of the year is always the next one. And the first one we play versus Kennesaw, um, you know, I mean, they're the runner-up in the Big South. And if you look back to last season, um, when we took the hit at East Tennessee State, you know, the one reason we got in the playoffs is because we beat a playoff quality team in Central Arkansas that was out of conference. I mean, you know, let's make no bones about it. That's the reason we got in the playoffs because we had a great out of conference win. Um, and then if they're as good as they were last year, which I think they'll be better, that first game um, is, has big implications of us having a chance to go to the postseason you know, when that time comes. Um, again, our punting game's in good hands. You know, Barner's a second team all conference. Um, he's a phenomenal player. I think that he'll, you know, have a chance to be an NFL punter um, when it's all said and done. Um, but our kickoff and our, our extra point field goal team, um, you know, those guys just don't have any experience. I mean, we feel like we have some good players, uh, but it's just like anything until you get out there and the pressure's on you, you really don't know how a guy's going to perform. So we got to do a good job of of uh, finding who that guy is right off the get-go um, and get him ready to go for that first game. You know, we made a big priority for them to get more involved in, in the, the, the student body um, to try to, you know, get more people to come to the games. And, you know, it's, it's always exciting when you have a, a good team to pull for. And, um, you know, headed into the season, you know, we're getting a lot of preseason accolades that um, we haven't gotten before, and hopefully we'll handle that well. Um, and then if we come out of the gates and play well, uh, maybe the excitement will go to a new level. But, um, you know, it, it, the thing about athletics, you're kind of the front porch of the university in, in some aspects. And, um, you know, you, you're, you're constantly getting covered. Your name's coming across the ticker at the bottom. Um, and, and everybody likes a winner. And so hopefully we can, uh, we can live up to those expectations this season.